how um how has it been like last season you played with Newcastle and obviously you were Melbourne City this season. Yep. What have been the biggest differences between the two sides? Uh, the differences between the two sides will definitely be the facilities and um, how professional it is at Melbourne City. Um, not taken away from Jets, but yeah, the the facilities we have here, the access we have to podiatrists, to um, an SNC full time, to a gym whenever we want to go. Um, that's definitely got to be a difference, and obviously the staff that we have here, um, whether it be from Rado all the way to the physio, um, it's just top notch. So that's a massive um, difference that I've noticed. Um, training wise, I feel like every A League women's club is similar. Um, you train the way that your coach wants you to play, and um, you do the tactical sessions that they want you. So um, intensity wise, it is a bit more intense here, but. Um, yeah, that's definitely the difference of facilities and um, what, we, what we get access to as athletes. Uh, you managed to get on the score sheet last week. Uh, what was that like? Just... Yeah, it's always good scoring a goal. Um, it was the goal to win the match, so it's, that's a great feeling. Um, but yeah, like the effort from everyone, um, we travelled that day, so can't take that away from the other um, 10 players on the team. Um, that started and then the subs coming on, um, but yeah, it's always nice getting on the score sheet. Hopefully I can get a few more goals for the club. You, um, you guys travel up to Sydney um, this weekend. How um, uh, are you looking forward to that picture? Uh, like, is it one that at the start of the season you have perhaps on the calendar knowing that it's going to be a picture against the top side? Like, how do you prepare for that? Oh, going to Sydney is definitely going to be exciting. I um, have most of my family coming down to the game, so definitely it was marked on the calendar to go and play in front of um, my, all my family and all my friends in Sydney. Um, Sydney FC is obviously the benchmark team in the comp. They're top of the table. Um, but, yeah, I'm so excited, and I feel like all 16 girls that are going to be travelling are going to be ready for the, for the game. Are you, uh, are you looking forward to hopefully getting back on the score sheet this weekend? Oh, definitely. That's the plan. What um, what are you going to do in front of your family and friends if you manage to score? Uh, I don't really think about a celebration in the moment. It just happens. Um, so some of the girls planned a celebration before the start of the season. And to be honest, we actually haven't done it. So... I actually don't know. I feel like if I score, I'll just do a similar celebration to what I did on the weekend or to be honest, it just happens in the moment. So I'm not too sure. All right, that's, um, that's all for me for now. Um, hi, Rihanna. Apologies for having to duck out briefly to do a call, but I wanted to ask you about the, um, and apologies if this was asked already, but I wanted to ask you about the Adelaide game. Watching that first half, it appeared that though the Reds were on top, their press was working well, they were winning the midfield battle, but you were able to come out after half time and flip that script, so to uh, speak, and seize control. What was behind that transition in terms of the game state? Yeah, definitely the, th the first 30 minutes we struggled. Um, Adelaide definitely came to play. Um, and we always knew that um, going into the game that the first 30 minutes was going to be the toughest. And once we got past that 30 minutes and we started to stick to our structure and our game plan and started to cycle the ball a bit more, I did feel like we, we started to come into the game and create more chances. And then from half time, it was just about composure and can we be composing that front third? Can we keep cycling the ball and make Adelaide run? And from that half half time whistle that went off in the second half, you saw a different different city side come out and, and we're moving the ball around. And I feel like once we lost the ball, we won it back in five seconds. So I think us cycling the ball and just being more composed in that second half and the goal eventually came. So. Um, yeah, but we can't take the way Adelaide um, pr pressed and, and won the ball in the first half. But yeah, I think our credit to our girls, like we didn't give up for the whole 90 and we ended up winning that 1-0, which was a big three points for us. And that goal was delivered off your boot from the assist of Stoddy and you two have formed that partnership in the city midfield. Uh, this season. A bit surprising considering that I reckon most of us thought Stoddy would be playing centre-back at the start of the year, but could you describe that partnership and their relationship and what Rado wants you to, to achieve when you step out there? 
Yeah, playing with Slotty has been amazing. Obviously, we offer the similar qualities. We're both good on the ball. Um, so we just we just understand each other as players. We we like playing tiki-taka football. Um, and just her have, having her up top is just wonderful. Like, she can hold the ball up. She can beat players. She can play that killer pass. And as you've seen from the goal, she slipped me through. She saw me straight away making that run, and she played me through. So I think we're on the same page, us two as players. And, yeah, our, our game, our structure going into the game was to play Slotty's feed and can I make a forward run off her so she could play me. And that, that just worked in the goal. And coming up against Sydney FC, this weekend obviously there's been a lot of talk about their attack but their attackers can't score if their midfield can't get them a ball which is where i imagine you come in how do you and study uh, and the rest of your teammates go about winning that midfield battle yeah when you look at sydney fc's midfield they're all quality players and they've been playing together for a while um but our formation we're good enough to beat any team so their midfield doesn't really phase us and we're going to stick to our game plan and our structure we're not going to focus on any individuals they have um, and we're going to go out and just give it our all we're going to start with our press that we normally do and hopefully they can't play through their midfield and they're missing some top players but they still got other quality players that come in for those top two players that they're missing and um, Stoddy and I will focus on the, on the press like we do every week and all the other players in the team will be ready to go for that battle. And maybe just last one for me. Rado's often talked about this squad as being one that is going to improve every week as the season goes on, probably because unlike Sydney FC, there's a lot of new faces in this side and you're growing chemistry. Could you describe as a player how that feels week to week? Can you noticeably feel improvement week on week or is it something just that just kind of happens without you noticing? Yeah, we're definitely improving um, each week. We had a bit of a rough rough game against Wellington. We didn't perform our best, but that was after a week off. Um, but yeah, the improvements come in and we're slowly getting better at the game plan that Rado wants us to play. And we're all just willing to work for each other. And that's, that's what you notice on the field. There's 11 players that want to fight for every single player on that field. Um, and you can notice that in the games that you watch and um, the energy and effort that everyone puts in for each other is there and yeah as as the weeks go on we're only getting better I don't see us going backwards as a team and we got young players that just want to fight and be on the like be on the field and want to put in all their effort so and that's that's paying off but those young players and this improvement like have you noticed as the season going uh, goes on that they're now anticipating your movements better they're showing for those passes that they worked at the start of the season yeah for sure and you can notice in training when you compare sessions that we did in pre-season to now it's just next to none like it's improved so much and yeah on the field we're we're still connecting um we do glimpse at, at in times but that's okay we're still we're still learning the whole structure it's all new to us so like the squad i think there was about 14, 15 new players that came in and we're second on the table so we're obviously doing something right. <laughs>